Greetings, gamer girls. I am Celestine Nelson with Cold Quick Sunday, and then welcome back for Super Mario 64 Mario's Dream. I'm definitely a lot more confident than I was in the last episode. Now let's head to the 13th course, which is. Unchanged World. Sort of. Well, Unchanged World, in my opinion, describes all of a Camden, Camden text, to be honest. Well, I mean, it has some texture changes, so it's not completely unchanged, but that's kind. Of, it's kind of what it is, unchanged. There's your star. Hmm. Okay, uh... I know I could just go into the tiny island to make things easier, but I don't know why, but for the second mission, I... But for the second mission, I just like, I just like, um, going into the huge island. It just sounds, it's just satisfying, I guess. And we can see how unchanged this world really is. Okay, sorry about that. Hey, more Luigi symbols. You know, I wonder if it's actually possible to, um, replace textures in uh, Super Mario 64 and not just edit them and not, and not just edit them you know you can replace the a texture uh, with a different texture Oh, that was weird. Um... Oh wait, I want to see what the butterflies turned into. Oh, they disappeared. Oh wait. What is that thing? That just cannon- that cannonball. Oh, whoa, um, good thing I didn't break the block. Whoa, 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 uh, jeez. Freaking out over nothing. Uh, do these properties change into things, too? No, like, apparently they just appear. I don't know why I'm always nervous whenever I do the I do uh, the rematch with Koopa the Quick. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> that uh, four coin um, is pretty amusing. Um, I guess I can talk about it. You know, talk about some technical stuff in Super Mario 64. 
Uh, you guys can probably guess what channel I learned this from, but, um... That actually is a five coin ring. It's just that the fifth coin just kind of, like, unloaded. Basically, the way, um... Five coin strings work is that... Is that they, um, check to see if there's a surface below it. And if there is a surface below it, then when they load, they will go onto the surface below it. However, if there isn't a surface below it, and, uh... And if there isn't a surface below it, and there's, a If there, if there is not a surface below it, and there's, a Just, um... A pit below it, then any any coin that is in that immediate area will unload. And apparently that string of coins is like slightly in the ground and that's kinda why it doesn't load, so Yeah. I don't know. I'm personally just one who is a, who is interested in learning how games work at a programming level. Not that I want to be a speedrunner or anything. I'm not a speedrun I am not and I probably will never will be a speedrunner. But I just I just like um, learning about the development of games because that's what because that's what being a geek is all about. And where's that last itty bitty secret? I don't know why I don't remember where it is. Oh wait, the cannon. Duh. Oh wait, I think I already got the cannon. Yeah, I already got it. Um, let's see. There's the cannon. The the metal ball generator. The whoa. Um, <laughs> the uh, wiggler area. The um, oh yeah, I remember. Yeah. Even I forget things sometimes. So yeah. Whoa, um, careful. I guess since this this um, level is virtually unchanged, maybe I, I think I could, uh, well, just like every level, maybe I could play some... Maybe I could play some... Uh, I guess I can play any music I want. Oh, no, I was going to try to land on there, but no such luck. No such skill, more like. Or no such good controller. You know, it seems like that's all I ever do uh, whenever I uh, whenever I play um, Super Mario 64 hacks. I just complain about the stupid Xbox controller. And, you know, some people actually complain that they don't like it when I speed up and when I, uh, well, not speed up, uh, when I, uh, play music for the 100 coin missions, they want me to, uh, commentate over it, but I don't know why, I just, I just don't think it's, uh, really, oh, um, uh, I just don't, I just, uh, don't think I have really much to talk about, um, whenever I'm just running around collecting coins like I'm doing now. 
Um, plus, I like, I like, um, choosing the music whenever I play, whenever I, uh, do, you know? You guys would know that my favorite thing, my favorite thing of all time is variety, and, you know, variety of music for video games sounds pretty good to me. Also, this is very unchanged. Like, aside from Mario, do you notice any difference between, uh, you, the, te the textures? I was about to go on a huge island, but I can't. Oh. Alright. Hey buddy, how's it going? You don't look any different either. This world really is unchanged. Like all the worlds. Well, except the early worlds. The early world the early worlds are usually really unchanged. I mean the early worlds are usually changed at least a little bit, but the later worlds, no. One thing I really like about Super Mario Galaxy 264. However, the the Nick after we after we play the hack after this one, it's another we're gonna be playing another Camden hack. That one will definitely not. That one will look the same in terms of level design, but it will definitely be changed. I'll say that much. But like all cat like all Camden hacks, there's at least one star that's impossible to retrieve. Anyways, now it's time for the hundred coins. Windfall Island, Legend of Zelda, Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker HD.
I suppose I could have played Outside Island as well, but I don't know why, but Windfall is kind of, well, I don't know what's better. You know, what would you guys say, what, what would you guys say is better in terms of music, Outside or Windfall? Oh, well. Next time on Super Mario 64 Mario's Dream, we're gonna head up, we're gonna head upstairs. I'll see you guys next time, and as always, remember to smile, you are the face of Hulk Lexington and the 9 game.